Ukraine is just worth a million. Yeah. How about that? Um, so I was watching uh, a TikTok, which is I need, I need to get rid of that app also. But Bo, Bo Burnham, I think his name is. You, you know who that is? He was real popular on YouTube at one point. He was a, uh, I guess he's like a comedian. He has a special on Netflix too. He's okay. like a comedian, he plays music while he does his performances or whatever. Yeah. Started off real young. But uh, I didn't hear about him for a while, but I guess he was like popping for a long time. And so basically, um, one of the questions he was answering was the idea of like old movies and TV shows, like old cinema and stuff like that. How, with it being older, it definitely has like sexism, racism, all that stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we in, we are in the idea or the culture of like cancel culture, uh, a lot of times like movies and just anything gets canceled or like gets written out and written out of history. So my question was, do you, do we keep history through TV shows or should we uh, disregard them? So I'm trying to think of something that's like hella racist or something that's like really sexist, whatever. Can't think one at the moment. But they think of like a real racist movie or something that's like an undertone of racism. Do we get rid of it or do we keep it? You I mean, if it's based off of historical events, you don't get rid of it. No, nah, it's just like where the movie they made, which just was like, it It was a sign of the times at that, at that moment. It was like the culture. No, you keep was. it because if it was a good movie and it, and, it, and it dealt with that same thing, but it's painted in a different light, you'd want to keep it. Right. So you would keep the bad and the good. Like, you don't, I don't, I, I never liked the idea of allowing America to sweep their shit under the rug and then mm -hmm. be like, oh, well, no, this is what really, like, no, like, this is all part of the history, baby. This is all part of the history that makes you up of who you are. Like, you, we know you got skeletons. You, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to bury them like they wasn't there, that like we didn't know. We know what it was. Like, nah, you keep that. So I feel like with the idea of cancer culture, I think we're indirectly doing that. I think that sometimes we have we have those skeletons and they're in some of our beloved TV shows and movies or music even. And they get to a point where, uh, because times has changed now, they want to like, Oh, you can't listen to that music no more. You can't like that's that was wrong. Yeah, that's never in question. But we can't erase what that is or what that was. Like that has to if you still love that song, keep listening to it. Like I don't want I'm not completely I'm not complete, completely judge you for listening to certain music. But that's that's your shit, so shit. Like I wish I had, wish I had a real examples. So I can't remember at the moment, but like, yeah. no, I think I think you should. I agree with you. I think you should keep whatever it was. Like. But now, do you have to necessarily stream it and put it out in public? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But like, <laughs> at the same time, I think that's different. But I think the idea of trying to be like, it's just not going to be available. I think it should still be available for people to see it. They want to see it. Mm -hmm. If they wanted to take a look and take a gander at it or whatever, I think, no, you should keep it because you, because at the same time, because on the flip side of that, you profited off of it now. Like, you're not going to get the profit off, off of this history and profit off of the, off of, off of the bad and the good and try to hide the bad like like it wasn't there. Like, right. No, you even made money off. You done built y'all done built millions off. You done built empires based off of some of the same exact shit that you have here. Mm -hmm. You were able to build empires off of that. Don't try to act like it don't exist now because I'm gonna come. I'm gonna trace the money. 